no room for crime on the side. Like, I think that the discussion needs to be honest and needs to be brutal sometimes. Not in a defensive way, but like, let's talk about the issues. Like, let's stop the next other person in the room and try to figure out are you building something that is actually just being connected to functionality is a way for any other team? Or is it something that is not like crazy and challenging enough and can people understand it and what can happen? So, what actually happened is like we started investing. These startups make the group for all their investors. They have a cover angel, some VCs. We start publicly contributing to that group, helping them out to sort out the things being really active. And then other angels across the whole world started asking us to join the team. But early on, the only thing that we decided was let's focus on the percent tier for them. And then that we have to say that the company will not extend people back in uh, in order for somebody to be back in the legal sector and that's why back in three months. You need to talk with each person one on one, then you have to have multiple calls with us, then you need to figure out how you are addressing and asking questions, so on and so forth. And then we have anonymous voting where we want 100% of people to be. If there is one disagreement, but um, and that's important to my team because of the structure of the team and how team managed to continue being resilient as an entrepreneur. So no, I think this is important. I want you guys to be the Do 
usually look for is like you're trying to suspect the founders, you're trying to understand where the founders are, what their mentality, how they work, uh, what's their vision, and if you know that they have what it to push this company for the next like four or five years. And then also like personally, this is like from person to person, I'm a bit crazy about like information gathering. So do like hardcore deep dive on these people and try to learn everything from private life up to professional life, how they first that call as many possible people that work with them, challenge those people, like basically I look at this when you're in that field, you're basically back to start with the major part. So the easy part is keeping money. The challenging part is to challenge those people to see if that good person for them. Because if you can expect an early stage such as like three states, there is like a lot of failures that will happen that's the way there. So we want to kind of like double down and understand who these people are, what's their grades, what's their passion, can they do this, how they can feel, how they work in a stressful environment, so on and so forth. So that's like my son and baby. So, okay, then. So, the two dimensions is usually like we need to get that as much information as possible, but how do you actually evaluate this? So, we are looking at all of us here because projects start a school who are trying to get something they can help you. And how do you evaluate the potential of something? Thank you. 
you need to be aware of like, what some of these things are. Uh, so I think it's important to emphasize all of these things are basic human connections and personal connections that everybody has. You don't be willing to see that because you can see it because of the connections that you are achieving with that person's person or that person's investor. And likewise, whenever you ask for something, you need to make sure you understand what are the implications of that. Oh, could you connect me to my PayPal or ACCC or something like this? Or are you saying stuff that is not ready to just, you know, give that person a concentration where I can say, sorry, my phone, you're not ready. And you can be offended because of that, you can be because of that, or whatever. And I can give an example of one of my favorite ones that is in this little for refinance. It is really nice. Because if you say something, you say, I'm not going to be the best thing to make a reason for this, this, and this. It was a product that we can help you with that with product features. And if you kind of uh, do these things, you would do exactly this. You would schedule a call with me and say, okay, you said you're not right now. I was jumping on a call and that's going to feature that feature. So you can tell me your thing. And then please connect me to who is another uh, person, Luca. Hey, I'm this guy over there. So I think it's super important to understand what kind of resources can you get to the other side because all the startups, especially the early stage startups, are thinking in this way, especially when they're raising for the first time. Also, sometimes for the second time. You know, just give me the money for that. I'll be here help you. But then six months later, I was able to promise and I wish you that. But very often, that's something that's very often that happened to us in the startup and to us eight months ago. Hey, guys, we have two months of job there. What should we do? Can you help us find this? There's nothing we try to really call, but there's, there's nothing to do there. And to the extent that, uh, yeah, because, like, just to be clear, like, if we are in that free court, and we can around on this idea of how much time you have, and you have two months, like, it is showing that you could not approach this possibility this whole thing. It's not because if you have just two months of rent, it's because why they didn't need to contact like 10 months ago. Um, so that's like what it's about, what you need to do. And also, like, look, I think that one important thing that you need to ask is to say, I do believe that in the pre-product stage and the early product stage, angels are sort of helpful in the sense, if you get this much as possible, you just don't need it. Like, see small things, uh, see cat distinction, what we call the majority of the companies. Those kind of things, like, there is five million dollars. Just for angels. No, this is allowed or anything, not because this is a bad thing, but because they're like, this is, I have zero knowledge and distinction badges that will be minted out, that are focused on the community and the people that are part of this industry. If you want to go, you want as many as possible representatives of this industry to be part of our team. And from that perspective, the smart ones, in my opinion, is in the early stage, get as many as possible angels there. Because they can open you so many doors. And don't be shy, like, do that. If you're building for a multi chain world, you need to sell them a good people come up with you. Uh, like, ah, like, it's so big, it's a lot of whatever, like, out of 135 that speaks on a daily basis. Like, they can do quick. So don't be shy and try to target all the strategic people that you think can help you out from the product feedback, from the user growth, from all of these things. Because it's much more important in this early stage. Trust me, like, this is also. We get super excited if we get really excited and recognizing the, the names and people that are part of your run. So it will not be an issue for you if you're doing something good. It will not be an issue for you to raise up a second round from the VCs or to put some things in operate for a chance to get them. Or to decide we don't need VCs. Angels are enough that we can put them back to work because angels are never going to force you to help this game because they need to sign up and grab a place. So it's basically. It's that uh, you need to reflect that you're not going to be aware of them in a few minutes from the start of the event. So, there's a bunch of uh, like, things that you can say about this, but I'm conscious of time because we need to go to the private, but I also want to give you the opportunity to ask a question. Um, so, I'm going to give it from a user perspective or 
much to do with it. I can 
say that environmental modeling like is also 7 0 plus investments. I already paid around 25% of the amount. I'm thinking they will not make it, they will not survive, and so on. Um, and then I can think that 50% more are in the risk of being seen. Um, the point is that, as, as we mentioned, like, it's a totally novel industry, and it's like early phase of learning. So, a lot of these things we are trying to figure out right now. Like, for me personally, I'm an entrepreneur engineer that just started doing the investments in the last two and a half years. So, I expect that I'll make mistakes. But one thing for me is like uh, the skinny game. Because, like, if I make this thing and it's purchased from the angel side, investing your own money, not other people's money, uh, it hurts. So, then you're learning through that experience. So, you can't be speaking as things. So, that's one thing. I'm still to be very quick. I want to pick up on something that you said. We will be within the right time. Is there an out here in terms of clients and like also partners? Because they're like the good questions. First of all, some of these, instead of like, we sell you this basic vision, and the only thing that I can actually sell is this technical vision, which is the good test that they will come. Or, I can start doing customer development, but nobody will have this at this point because they're too smart to be technological, which means that I will start doing all the customer development for free on my own. I will struggle for money, I will struggle for connections. So I have to try to choose to be technologically oriented and almost be forced to adopt build it and then will come on straight to sell to you, or do the proper way of the data management. It's a physical cost. So if you do that, it's important. Then, the thing about this is that so if you're very good at doing the tech, you're very good at the other one. And you're very comfortable with the tech. And you're very comfortable with the other one. So what usually happens is, I'm going to do what whatever is most comfortable with me. But the best one is I'm going to find the balance. I say, I need to start building the shit. And when I choose the first time to build this technological monster, at the same time, I'm going to show you that I can also close the first one. I'm going to talk to the customers. I don't want to get into that. I'm going to fake products. I'm going to fake clicks, subscriptions, all these things. Fake not as in fake subscriptions, but fake click here and then click you on the buttons if you want my product. So there's the toolbox of achieving that one is huge. Just people don't like that. You know the situations where you have a technical person talking to somebody and you see that that person is trying to fight too fast not to be part of the conversation? It happens especially with people that are junior on engineering who are not the type that they would like to not fall out from the conversation and they become, it looks like, even more ridiculous, right? So what I want to say to that is, founders uh, that know they don't, that they don't know, I respect hundred percent more than founders that go, something that they know yet to turn it. It doesn't matter if it's tech or not. Like, if I talk to the founder and ask about the go to market strategy, and that person says, to be honest, I'm not sure, and right now I would like to hire or get the co-founder to be a business side, I would rather and always invest more in that person than the person that is trying to be a smart guy in the conversation. I think that that's like a great be honest to yourself. I think that that's like the main trait that you have to founder on because you shouldn't be smart as thing that you want the smart as thing. And you don't need to be uh, understanding everything and be best. So, that's it. So, I will let him go to the toilet, but when this is what Judge Fonda continued, we'll be dealing with a question for what is all about this because I'm about to find out what's going to say. So, if there's another question, Address it or like it, or you can just respond. So, um, there is, I think we see a lot of things, either through the others, we see a person who are doing the change or to find out what they need to do feedback on their own, on their own. And the situation is very 
Thank mm-hmm. you. 